at least she'll have it available. Got it, got? Okay, thank you. Done. So we'll give you the recording as well, so you don't have to really take notes of the content. We'll make the video available and also the audio available of the entire session. So we want you to focus purely on the key points that you want to take away from today. Happy? Can we do that? Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Okay. And I'll have to come back to my laptop again and again to start because I was going to do it on another technology, but it's kind of giving up on me right now. Okay. So let's get started. Hi, Vishal. Good to see you. Brilliant. Okay. Now, this is how it's going to go. Today, flow is going to be like this. I'm going to start by telling you uh, the four conditions. If those four, any of those four conditions are true for you, you should stay in the room. You'll get value. Okay? And if any of those four conditions are not true, you should still stay in the room. You'll still get value. Okay? <laughs> but if those four, true, four are true, you'll get a whole lot of value coming to you. Okay? When that happens, I'll share. After that happens, I'll share my journey with you. Okay? How I came to be where I am today. And there's some very important lesson of through my journey that you really need to understand when it comes to networking. Okay. Then I will actually take you through the rest of the uh, couple of hours through the content. We'll be taking a break at 11. Okay, we'll have tea, coffee outside. It'll be a short break, so you'll have to make a quick exit and a quick entry. Uh, freshen up, grab tea, coffee, and come back. Okay, we'll wrap it up sharp by 1.30. No later. <coughs> Towards the end, I am going to invite you to join a new program that we're about to start. It's called the uh, New Rules of Business Networking. The program is worth 25,000 bucks. It's a three-day program, and I'll tell you all about it. But I also want you to know that if you're not going to join the program, you will still be getting a whole lot of value that you'll be taking away from today. Okay. In the end, I'll be asking you to fill a feedback form. I want you to do one thing. On, on this folder, please write your name right now. If you forget, we will know who to call. It. But I said, you know, that we will get you will get Okay? If, after you've written your name, I also want you to very quickly, on the last page, which is the feedback form, put your name, email, or phone number. Do you just write it or anything else? Nothing else. Feedback is not going to all well. All well. What do five points in here? We've asked some very important questions. In fact, read the question once. The question one says, "So this is what I intend to achieve for you. Um, I want to give you a new perspective on networking today. Okay? I want to help you identify the mistakes that you're making because of which networking may not be working as well as it could work for you. Okay? Um, I want to give you the ability today." get more business from networking, okay? Then, some key tangible takeaway points, okay? These are the things that I want to create for you. In the end, if you like the workshop, I would also uh, request you to give me five referrals for uh, other business owners in your network to whom we could invite her. Uh, with this session that you're attending right now, our goal is to actually help one lakh business owners get networking right, and I'll, you'll understand why as we go through it, okay? So let's get started. So these are the things that if they're true for you, you're in the right room. <coughs> you're in the right room if you want to gain more business from networking or gain top strategies of networking, whether business or non-business, okay? You're also in the right room if you want to eliminate the fears of networking and learn how to build strong relationships. There's something that I call low maintenance relationships. Low maintenance relationships are those relationships that you build in the right way and then they require very little maintenance. We all feel, right, it's very hard to stay in touch with our network, such a big network. What if the need of staying in touch goes away? Low maintenance relationships. So if you're looking for those if you're looking to eliminate the fears, apprehension, if any of that is there, you want to eliminate that, you're in the right room. Okay? Then, 
if you want to learn what are the key mistakes that people make while networking and also learn how to avoid them, you're in the right room. Okay? So you can learn from other people's mistakes, other people's expenses, expense, or you could also learn that this might be these might be mistakes that you're making. Right? And then if you want to create endless referrals coming your way. Okay? So these four points. Gain more business, top strategies of networking, eliminate fears, build strong relationships, avoid key mistakes, and get endless reference. Does any one of these apply to you? All of them apply? Yes. Anyone? It's okay, I won't ask you to leave the room. Done. One very important point for today. This is not my handwriting. <laughs> You're able to read it. Yeah. Aage jo bhi hai, none of it you'll be able to read. This is my colleague Hema. Hema, are you here? No, she's not here. She's done this. Iske baad aap logo ko is pe jo aega wo padne mein bahut problem hone wali hai. Okay? My wife is especially proud of my handwriting, not in the way that she should be. The other way. Okay? Cool. So this is what I want to achieve for you today. Now, before I get down to actually sharing the content with you, I want to share with you what has been my journey. Um, as of today, I am the only known, at least, networking coach in the country of 1.2 something billion people, or maybe 3 something billion people. And that's, that's a very interesting and a weird phenomenon. The world runs on networking, the business runs on networking, there's so many networking platforms, etc. out there. There's only one coach. And I want to tell you how the journey of this coach has been to be where he is today in front of you. And there's a lot of learnings there, especially for me, and a lot of stuff that I do today actually comes from that story, and that's why I want to give you that. So this was around 2008. I was working with KPMG um, in the Forensic Services Division, Ethical Hacking, and all of that. Yep. Um, and I had a friend in Bombay called Neeraj Arsha. Some people here would recognize that name, yeah? yeah. Yes? <coughs> Good. Okay. Neeraj Shah was, at a, at a point in time, um, the national director of uh, an organization called BNI, Business Network International. Okay? Some, of, some people know it as Business Networking International. It's not. It's Business Network International. Okay? Neeraj and I were friends. We used to party together. And one fine day, I took another friend of mine called Varun Chaudhary to a party uh, when Neeraj was coming. So we had a good time. And we're going back. We're driving in my car. And Varun says to me, Asha, here is the Neeraj. Kya kar hai? And at that, this point in time, I have Neeraj ko ek saap, hafte mein, do, teen baag, party karto hai, karibhan, dead ek saal, ho chuka. Ab situation ye hai ki, Bombay mein trend hai ki, agar aap jate kisi se poochho ge na, what do you do? Ho bolenge, hmm, you're from Delhi na? To do, teen baag, mein saath hoa, to mein loga se poochne man kar diya. To, aap outcast ho jate hai Bombay mein. Kisi ko pata la ki, aap Delhi se ho, to side hai bhai tu. Abhi to poochha ge, tera baap kya karta hai, ye kya karta hai. So I asked him to ask him, and I asked him And Varun is a typical daily guy. So he asked me, what does he do? And I said, I'm not sure anything, I don't know anything. In Bandra, where we were in Bombay, we had to wait for about 25 minutes. That 25 minutes, he put me in my mind, that you are doing a party for a half year, you don't know about your friends, you are doing this, you are doing that, you are doing that, you are doing that, you are doing that, you are doing that. And man, it was hard. Embarrassment. So the next morning, what do I do? I get up and I call Neeraj. I say, brother, do you want to meet? So we go to Cutter Road, Cafe Coffee Day, if you have never been to the beach, next man. We sit there and meet with Sunday morning. So he said, come on. Now, a half year later, I'm sitting with Neeraj. And I say, what is that you do? And he starts laughing. And he starts taking my case. He's like, now you care? What do I do? He starts taking my case. He's like, now you care? What do I do? It's been here and a half. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? I ask first, people say, you're the side of the side. If I don't ask, then later on, I'll tell you about Bombay people. Okay? So anyways, I pacified him. I said, okay, 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 okay. Tell me what do you do. Neeraj was the national director of Business Network International. Now, at that point in time, he tried explaining for an hour and a half to me, what is BNI? What is networking? How do business owners do networking? 
बिजनेस जनरेट करते हैं और स्ट्रक्चर सिस्टम प्रोसेस क्या होते हैं उसके ओवरहेड ट्रांसमिशन जिस प्रोफेशनल्स को नेटवर्किंग के साथ कोई लेना देना नहीं होता है हमारे पास प्रोफेशनल सर शोफांस ओके नेटवर्किंग को आप लोग आए हो यहां पर that shows that you care about but generally people in the professional world do you think they care about networking i did either networking ka kya karna hai theek hai so mere ko kuch nahi samajh aaya to maine neeraj ko bola okay i want to see a meeting wo bar bar meeting networking meeting networking meeting kar raha tha i want to see a meeting he says what will you do you have no business so maine thode se uski ego chhadi maine you really are the national director na dekhta to nahi hai it took the better he organized a meeting I still remember it was Wednesday morning. Pali Hill pe ek hotel tha. I'd gone for a meeting, and it was around 7:30 in the morning. He told me, "Subah sare saath baje pata hai." Subah sare saath baje. Yahan kya ho raha? So I was expecting punctuality. Kya hoti? I was expecting. I'll reach. I'll sit. People will come. I'll welcome people. And I went in and I opened the door of the hall, and the hall is buzzing with people. Yahan kya ho raha? Subah sare saath baje. Subah sare saath baje. Yahan kya ho raha? Subah sare saath baje. The energy of the room was completely different. Kind of shook me. I was like, "Yeah, okay." Okay. Just okay. I think he's working on it. Now, I entered. Now with apprehension, and as I entered, people started approaching me. Like, "Hi, how are you?" I said, "I'm good." What's your name? I said, "Paritosh." Oh, you need it, friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come join us. एक बंदा आके बात कर रहा है दूसरा आके बात कर रहा है तीसरा आके बात कर रहा है चौथा आके बात कर रहा है ये क्या हो रहा है एंड द मीटिंग बिगेंस दोस ऑफ यू अटेंडेड बी एन आई मीटिंग यू वुड अंडरस्टैंड इट्स समथिंग टू सी एब्सोल्युटली समथिंग अमेजिंग टू सी आई कंप्लीटली टुक मी बाय सरप्राइज जब मैं निकला वहां से तो मेरे को अंदर में मीटिंग में एक लगता है स्विच ऑन हो गया नेटवर्किंग का समथिंग हैपन इन दैट मीटिंग So long story short, मैंने नीरज को बोला डैड को ज्वाइन कराना है नीरज ने कहा मीटिंग में ले आऊ मैंने कहा डैड दिल्ली में है तो नीरज सेट ओ वी सेट वी डोंट हैव बी एन आई इन डेली एंड वी नेवर विल मैंने कहा डोंट हैव इट इन डेली समझ आता है नेवर विल का क्या मतलब है So, नीरज ने लाइन मारी जिसका मैं बहुत टाइम में जाके मेरे को समझ आया नीरज से दिस वन लाइन दूड ऑफ डेली आइट इज नॉट कंपेटेबल टू गिविंग ओके मैंने कहा एक्सप्लेन तो बॉम्बे में एक रेपुटेशन है कि डेली के जो बिजनेस ओनर्स हैं वो चूना लगाते हैं चोरी करते हैं ये करते हैं वो करते हैं एट एंड थ्री नॉर्थ की हिस्ट्री अब तो बहुत चेंज हो चुकी बट जो चेंज हुआ है दैट हैज इन ट्रांसेंडेड टू बॉम्बे उस टाइम तक सो नीरज वॉज स्टिल ऑपरेटिंग फ्रॉम दैट प्लेस ये क्या मतलब है तो आई ट्राई कन्विंस नहीं मैंने उससे मना कर दिया ना मैंने कन्विंस उसे करने की कोशिश करी कि मैं थोड़ा टाइम बाद सोचा मैंने मैं इसे इसको डेली मैं लेके जाता हूं मैं स्टार्ट करता हूं माना ही नहीं दिस इज गुज्जू हुज रिफ्यूजिंग बिजनेस हा कैन यू इमेजिन दैट सॉरी सर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रॉफिटेबल रीजंस ऑफ बी एन आई टुडे नॉर्थ इंडिया क्या बात कर रहे हो अभी तो स्टोरी में ट्विस्ट है सुनो आगे तो Um, एक बार मनाने की कोशिश करी दो बार तीन बार मेरे को कुछ कनेक्ट हो गया मेरे को करना था वो मेरे को कह रहा है तेरा कोई एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है बिजनेस नहीं है तूने तो नेटवर्किंग का कभी एंड नहीं करा है लाइफ में वट आर यू टॉकिंग बट क्या जाके स्टार्ट करेगा डेली में एंड आई डोंट नो वाई आई कैप्ट बिहाइंड मैसेज करना है करना है करना है करना है फाइनली ही गेव अप ही सेट आई विल नॉट ट्रीट यू एज अ फ्रेंड इफ आई गिव यू अ रीजन आई ट्रीट यू एज अ फ्रेंचाइजी एवरी रूल विल अप्लाई एंड आई विल be strict on you and I said ha huh. so what i did was i paid neeraj to get trained to go start b and i in a different city sab ho gaya bombay mein maine kpmg mein jhoot bol ke transfer karaya delhi mein nokri to ekdam chhod nahi sakta tha to maine kaha bhai family business mein challenge i need to be with my family so so what jhoot bol ke professionals ka roz ka kaam hai logo ka kuch na kuch karte hain stories कितनी बार तो हमारे घर में एक बंदा कितनी बार मरता है छुट्टी लेने के लिए मैं ही हैरान होता था मेरी टीम आके कहती दादी मर गई मैंने तीन महीने पहले नहीं मरी थी मैं भी वही करता था तो झूठ बोल के डेली ट्रांसफर दिया अब मैं मॉर्निंग आवर्स में नौकरी करता था और ऑफिस से निकल के 
मैं जाता था बिजनेस ओनर से मिलने कार्ड देता था उन्हें बी के बारे में बताता था और मैं चाहता था कि लोग अब ज्वाइन करना शुरू करें And this is where the true real story begins. I'll shorten it. It took me 363 rejections to get the first client. 363 rejections to get the first client. Or जो मैंने आज सीखा है networking में जो मैं सिखाता हूँ is the learning from these 363 rejections and their own. What I'm teaching you is less from success, more from failure. And one thing that I'm proud of, I'm not so proud of being the only networking coach in the country. I'm more proud of the fact that I have failed more times in networking than the number of times most of you would have tried networking. I'm proud of the failure because the learning comes only from there. So, ये सब अभी शो मैंने एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट छोड़ दिया। मैंने एक स्टोरी भी आपको बतानी है, बताता हूँ। प्रोफाइल से रिलेटेड थी। I was actually waiting for my my wife to come back. She's come back. Richa, you here? I just saw her somewhere. Oh, she's gone out. Richa used to be in the room for me to tell you that story. Okay. So, जब ये बीएनआई का चल रहा था, तो मैंने शादी से दस दिन पहले अपनी नौकरी छोड़ दी। Completely conservative family. She's been brought up like a princess. Ki do dene bhi aur lene bhi uske father aata the. Beta, tu back to padhai kar. ठीक है तो घर से बाहर मत जा तो घर में. ऐसी conservative family से लड़की से शादी हो रही है और लड़का शादी से दस दिन पहले नौकरी छोड़ रहा है. मैंने किसी को बताया. बाद में मैंने अपने parents को भी नहीं बताया था. My mother came in the morning. She said, "Would you be getting late for work?" And I said, "What work?" I quit. उसे एक दिन में मेरी शादी तीन बार टूटी। जैसे ही मैंने रिचा को बताया, she's like, ये क्या हो रहा है? मैंने कहा, I told you मैंने बिजनेस करना है, हाँ, ये थोड़ी बोला था, दस दिन पहले करना है। तो उसने आके पेरेंट्स को बताया, naturally, any same parent would say, boss, ये लड़का नहीं, stable नहीं है, हम तो अच्छी नौकरी देखी थी, ये देखा � एक और बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी बताने तो मैं भी नहीं बताई। आज आ जाओ। ठीक है? This is a networking session, not a शादी का session। I don't want it to be a boring session. Come on, come on. So, guys, this is Richa. She's she's the backbone of everything that I do. So I'm I'm telling them what. I'm not his wife. I'm his boss. For your information. Okay. 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 When I said she's the backbone of everything, of everything I do, it was a more dignified way of saying I'm an employee at home and at office. Yeah. So, three days, three times I got married, I got married, then I got married, then I got married. So I finally told her that, look, you decide that you're getting married, then it will happen. Your parents will convince you. I told her three times. I was tired. My parents were not in front of me. My parents said, "Brother, you're doing too much. We don't want to see you like this." Okay. So finally, it was her who uh, convinced the parents, and they're married today. Yeah, happily married. happily married today. So thank you. Did I ever say thank you to you? Yeah, yeah I have, right? Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, better. Thank you. Thanks. I mean, uh, still, still, because there's one more story that you actually don't know. This one you knew. Okay. So, yes, Abua, because a lot of rejection after rejection after rejection, and we started. We got the first member, the second member, the third member, the fourth member, so on and so forth. But I and, and things finally started to work. One chapter bana, dusra chapter bana, tisra chapter bana. Or when I franchise chalata tha na BNI ki, the maximum amount of time that I used to spend without realizing was observing how business owners were doing networking wrong in BNI and sitting them down in the room to do it right. तीन चैप्टर बने हैं और मैं चौथा चैप्टर बना रहा था व्हेन आई वाज हुनोस यस किसने बोला उधर बोला यू नो द स्टोरी गैस स्मार्ट गैस यार एब्सोल्युटली आई वाज फायर्ड फ्रॉम द फ्रैंचाइज नाउ इमेजिन दिस इज अ गाय हु ब्रोट अ फ्रैंचाइज इन अ रीजन वेयर द कंपनी डिड नॉट वांटेड 
built it up where the company thought it could not be built up. Ran it. And he was fired. What do you do? All of us are unhone notice diye the. So those of you wondering why, anybody wondering why? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what happened was, for BNI networking platform, BNI is actually a business. It, it was supposed to run, it was supposed to be run like a business. And for me, networking had become hardcore passion. Absolutely hardcore passion. It was about people, it was about the success of people. So our philosophies at some point in time changed. It started together. But they changed. For, for me, it was about people getting value, and for BNI, it was value for people, absolutely. But numbers, 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 numbers was a very equal big priority for them. And it wasn't for me. So they tried telling me once, twice, thrice, and I was under this confidence, yeah. More than doing. Go in and get by. try it. And they failed. So I was under this overconfidence, yeah. Kushi getting it. And one fine day, the national franchise director comes to me and says, Paratosh. Well, that was a very interesting day. Um, went in the morning to BNI with everything, bag, name, badge, business cards, everything. And an hour later, we were coming back, absolutely empty handed. There was no lapel pen that I had anymore. My business cards were not there. My email, everything. Everything was blocked. So it was all pre planned. After they informed me, everything got blocked. <coughs> and, um, I was told that a car would come, pick up the rest of the stuff from home as well. Go away. Yeah. It's a professional who left his career for off ID. ID Left a career in ID, started something, built it up where it, again repeating, it was where the company thought it could not be built. And it just goes away. Ground zero. And at this point in time, I had to make a decision. What do I do? Do I go back to KPMG? And that meant that if I go back to KPMG, mein so I would now be reporting to the people that were my juniors at that point in time. Because they'll only hire me at the same level. Uske baad mere kisi corporate mein kaam nahi. And BNI experience, they would not value. So I would have ended reporting, which again, the ego came. Ki nahi yaar, oh karna. So I started thinking, what do I do? What do I do? And I, Saman jab nikal ke BNI ki gaadi aayi thi, Saman nikal ke de raha tha, BNI ne testimonials ka concept hota hai. Written testimonials diya jate hai. So, mein apni testimonial file nikali. And I was feeling a bit nostalgic, sad. To mein testimonials padne laga. And that day I realized that every single testimonial I got in it was this thick file. Every single testimonial I got was for training people. BNI mein hume training bhi deni hoti. I And so that moment I took a decision ki ab I will do this. A franchise model bade chhe se samaj aagya tha. Content milta hai, sab kuch milta hai, bas execute karna hota hai. Execution easy nahi hota, but at least con content bagera ka struggle khatam ho jata hai. So I started looking for franchise of companies, uh, networking training institutes and companies. Guess what? There were none. None. And I mean, around the world, I tried searching globally. None. And that was suffering. I figured that either it is a very big market and nobody has understood this, or there is no market in training people, that's why nobody has ever stopped. Training people on networking, that's why nobody has ever stopped. And I said to myself, there's only one way to find out. So next day, from the company, um, I had around 50,000 bucks in my bank account that time. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah. 
फॉर्म द कंपनी और मैंने एक इवेंट ऑर्गेनाइज करा अपने नेटवर्क में से जितने लोगों को बुला सकता था बुलाए एक प्रेजेंटेशन बना के दे दी कि अब मैं नेटवर्किंग की ट्रेनिंग करूंगा दिस इज थ्री डेज डाउन ना थ्री फोर डेज डाउन बींग फाइड प्रेजेंटेशन बना के सबको दे दी दिस इज वॉट मेट वो पूरे पचास हजार रुपये उसमें डाल दिया कुछ नहीं बचाए कंप्लीटली एम टी बट एज लक वुड है Two days later, got the first client, the second, the third, the fourth, and we've never looked back. Today we have programs that we run, train senior executives, big companies are our clients. We're doing a lot of work. We've never looked back. But through this journey, again and again failing, and then again and again coming back, one thing stood by. I got a lot of help from my network, and there were certain things that I did. Because of which a lot of people came forward to help, and a lot of us don't do those things. And today is actually about learning those particular things. What you're going to learn is going to be completely counterintuitive. It is going to be absolutely opposite of what what you've been doing, the way you've been networking. Yeah. Now, before I begin with that. I told you I will tell you a story. Which I around? Yeah, she's gone out again. I think she's heard me too many times. ये जो प्रोफाइल है, इसे एक स्टोरी है. एक बार मैं एक इवेंट में जाके, I was giving a talk and ऐसे ही फोल्डर जो प्रोफाइल वगैरह सामने रखा हुआ था. Session one, this one gentleman was very impressed. So he comes to me and says, बेटा, क्या कितनी उम्र है? कितना कमा लेते हो? कहाँ रहते हो? मम्मी पापा क्या करते हैं? ऐसे क्वेश्चन तो किसी ने कभी पूछा नहीं ये क्या हो रहा है तो कहते चलो मैं आपको बता दूं मेरे फ्रेंड की ना बेटी है दिस वाज इन वन ऑफ द इवेंट समबडी रेड द प्रोफाइल एंड आफ्टर द सेशन केम अप एंड आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चंस मैंने कहा अच्छा मैं जजमेंट में ज्यादा नहीं जाता हूं तो मैंने कहा उनको ट्रेन कराना होगा कुछ कराना होगा तो कहते हम उनके लड़का देख रहे हैं उस टाइम पे दिमाग में आया कि अब ये एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं कि मैं अपने नेटवर्क से लड़का भी ढूंढ के दे दूं तो ये तो थोड़ा ज्यादा है आई नो दुल्हन वही जो पढ़ चुकी है टैगलाइन रह चुकी है सब मैंने कहा अच्छा जी तो कहते हैं मैं आपके पेरेंट्स से मिलना चाहूंगा तब समझ आया ये क्या हो रहा है मैंने कहा सॉरी हाँ आपके पेरेंट्स से मिलना चाहूंगा अंकल मेरी शादी हो चुकी है अच्छा आप रिंग तो नहीं पहनते हाथ में so, मैं पहले क्लियर कर दू मेरी प्रोफाइल है यहां पे लेकिन उस पर्पज के लिए नहीं है ठीक है क्लियर आई डोंट वेयर रिंग बट आई एम मैरिड लिविंग प्रूफ एंड आई थ्री ओल्ड डॉटर एज वॉल ओके दिस डन लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट नाउ हिज वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन दैट आई आई वांट आस्क यू बिजनेस ओनर्स मस्ट नो इफ यू वॉन्ट सक्सीड इन नेटवर्किंग These are two costs that you must know. Okay. Question. Session's free, right? I hope nobody's paid for it. Anyone who's paid for the session? Not really, right? Okay. Time is money. In a different way. This session is actually not free. For business owners, no matter what business you're in, it does not matter what business you're in. You're selling your time. Oh. You okay? You show? Sure? Did you enjoy the story that much? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> okay, your time is your money. But I'm sure you guys know that, right? Sunata hua at least. Mante hoge nahi mante hoge sunata hua. Sabne suna hai? Time is money. But what's the value of your time? क्या आपके टाइम की वैल्यू और आपके टाइम की वैल्यू सेम है या आपके टाइम की वैल्यू और आपके टाइम की वैल्यू सेम है यस नो यस नो नो तो कैसे डिसाइड करेंगे टाइम की वैल्यू क्या है व्हाट बिजनेस ओनर्स नीड टू डू ओके ऑन वन ऑफ द शीट्स ऑन द बैक साइड ऑफ इट ओके राइट डाउन The money that you guys made last year, last financial year. Now, profit or turnover, you decide. What do you, what do you want to decide? Now, Joby, track करते हो अपनी company में. वो amount लिखो. Last year, the money that you made. ठीक है? 
Now, divide that amount, obviously bring your cell phones out, divide that amount by 365. Now, before you're doing that, let me tell you, more than 50% of business owners in this room will not know the answer to this question. How much money we made last year? More than 50%, the number would be 80 to 90%. I will bet on it. But take a guess. How much money you would have made last year? And divide it by 365. The amount that you get is, is the value of your one day. So if you work 10 hours a day, divide that value by 10, and that is the value of every hour of your time. And then multiply that number by four, which is the time that you're spending here. That is the amount that you're paying for the session. That's the first cost you should know. What is the value of your per hour time, per hour of time? Always know this, always. It's not a free session, ladies and gentlemen. By no means. It's not very you saying that? <laughs> okay, if you say so, but you I know, my friend. <laughs> okay, now that's cost one. So, imagine that you're paying this much money. And now decide, make a decision to take value from the session. session free, beach me cell phone, but if that's the amount of money that you're paying, you just might take it a little more seriously. And the second cost that you need to know is something, I think you said, what did you say? Opportunity cost. Now, opportunity cost, and if I give you a very simplistic explanation, opportunity cost is the cost that you incur because of an opportunity <coughs> lost. If you end up losing an opportunity, jo cost usse aapko, jo money aapko se milta, that money becomes actually a loss of yours. Now, you go to networking events, you network, to grow in business, to grow in career, or whatever, to bring new business opportunities in for your company, whatever. But when you go there, and you don't do the best that you can, you're incurring an opportunity cost. And the reason that the opportunity cost doesn't bother us is because there's networking and there's, there's no way to know. You come here, you don't network in a break time, you drink your tea, you drink your friends, you sit with your friends, you sit with your friends, you go with your friends. So you don't know what you're missing. Networking in opportunity cost is extremely high. Because we are limited by our fears, by our judgments, by our perceptions, by our apprehensions. Networking even going to go. network is apprehension. We're incurring opportunity cost. And that's not the smart way of doing business. And this is the biggest reason that you really need to master the game of... No, 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 no. Strategic networking, business networking. You need to master that game because you're incurring loss. Just imagine for a moment. Let me ask you. Aapke networking make kya limitations hai? Kuch toh aapko malum hai? Yes or no? Malum hai? Agar mano pichle paanch saal mein wo limitations nahi rahi hoti, how much more money would you have made? Give me a figure, someone. Number don't ask <laughs> Sorry? Ten times is how much? Kitha karo? Aam reverse calculate karne gai? Aapne bol diya hai? 2.5 crores? 2.5 crores. Ab, ye jo 2.5 crores hai, isse jo aapko clients wagera aate hai, aapko lifetime value malum hai na kya hota hai? Uska lifetime value socho, minimum 10x. Minimum 10x. So just a little bit of time, because of not being able to network, the person who's lost 2.5 crores, the lifetime value of that loss is 25 crores. But because you don't know what it's okay. 
master the game. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot. And that's why, that's why it worries me so much that our education system, our professional institutes, everything is being run on networking. Right? Anybody who's gone through post-graduation schooling here, ever been taught networking? What's going on? And why are we not making noise about this? Why we go to event after event after event, struggle, not able to come back, and why don't we take action anything about it? Take it. Help available in the MMA. Kisi form may available in the MMA. But I'm not koshish with any kind of help. We're just sitting and taking the loss. Everything runs on relationships, everything. And that's what I want to change for you today. What I want to make sure is, mere paas aaj jitna content hai, 4 ghante mein kya mai aapko 40 ghante mein nahi de sakta. Now I'm gonna have to start speeding up because I want you to understand a lot of a lot of things. Yeah? But I want to give you so much that you actually go back and start changing the way you're doing things. With that, let's get started. Okay, now. Let me ask you, why is that we struggle with networking? Why? You struggle with networking? That's why you're here? Pretty much? But why do you struggle with networking? We don't have a system in place. Okay, introvert, inhibitions, fear of judgment, perceptions. Don't touch a bro. He's doing a full time program with me. He'll put up. Talk to you later. Sorry? Moving to different locations. Moving to different, that's actually an advantage, not a disadvantage. I'll tell you why. Thoda thoda, kunjum kunjum. Wo to judgment ki bimari hai na, abhi to us pe aare hain bhoat achha se aare, chanta nahi kar. Maza ne wala hai. Thik hai. I'll tell you the biggest reason that we struggle with networking. It's because we don't understand what is networking. Let me prove it to you. You may not want to accept this. You may want to think, especially those of you who are active networkers, you may want to think what you know networking. But tell me, if I ask you today to tell me what networking is, you'll have to make up an answer, right or wrong. Right or wrong, I don't know the answer, but right or wrong. You start thinking, what do I define networking? And then you tell me, correct? And if I don't talk about it, and one week after you come, you come back again. Or Poochu, tell me what is networking. Yes. Who said that? Yeah. You'll give me a different answer. Right or wrong? <coughs> Come on, speak up. Right or wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Go sakte hai. Aap recording aap sabke back of the face. Ito koi tension nahi. Kuch nahi pata chalega. Okay. How do we get something right that we don't even understand? How have you learned networking? It's never been taught. Anyway, you've simply learned by watching people. You went to a networking event, saw everyone networks by... Hi, I'm Paritosh Patak. I'm a strategic networking coach. I help business owners, blah, 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 blah. You saw everybody do that. It became something that is known as social proof. Social proof says, whatever everyone is doing must be the right thing to do. So it became a social proof, you started doing that. Tell me, how does it feel when you do this? When you give the card and you start your pitch? How does it feel? Silly, or silly. silly, right? Why do we keep doing it? Because we don't know what else can we do. Right? You know, I'd say, I'll tell you why. Because these people, when, when we do trainings, we call these people card dispensing machines or card collecting machines. Hi, I'm Paratosh Park, I'm a strategic networking coach. Hi, I'm Paratosh Park, I'm a strategic networking coach. Hi, I'll go. I'll come back after an event with a stack of cards and I'll say, oh, I did good today. And I'll go, keep those cards on my table, and I'll say, you stay there, tomorrow I'll do something with you. And I come tomorrow and I'm like, Kakaru, Kakaru. 
So some of us are innovatives and we, we send something called company information email. So without profiling, without evaluating, we'll send an email with 100 lines of text and 20 attachments. Hi Paritosh, it was great to have met you yesterday. Here is a little more about our company. Copy paste. Some of us in the room do this, right? Please stop doing that. From today. No more bringing the car out, no more giving to the people. Never stop. I'll tell you what to do. You will get it today. But this stops. Those company information emails, they stop. When you get them, how do you feel? I'll tell you what to do. Okay? So, the reason we're struggling with networking is because we've actually not been able to build it, understand what it is. In fact, we've misunderstood networking completely. <coughs> For us, networking has become a transactional activity. Networking means a networking event, to meet people, find a business opportunity, and come to the event. Correct? Come on. Yes. Yeah, contribute. Yes. Yes. For 4 hours, leave your apprehensions. If you have value, then open up. Okay? Yeah. What are we doing? We are going to networking in the world. We are going to selling. I use this analogy. Imagine that you're, you're in a swimming pool that is this deep to your body level. You're sitting on a cycle which is locked on the floor. And you're trying to ride that cycle. That's how selling in networking is like. It is possible you can sell in networking, but not without struggle. Cycle upar chala or swimming pool mein chala. You'll end up struggling a lot. Those of you who want to get more business from networking, Please stop trying to get business from networking. It is counterintuitive. The more that you try and get business from networking, the less you will get. And the less you try and get business from networking, the more you will get. Start listening to your mind. Start listening to the feeling that you have inside. If you're feeling uncomfortable doing this, stop doing it. Just stop doing it. Networking is about people. It's not about business. It's not about, yeah, what you do is important. But the person is far more important than the profession. Profession, you have to do it interesting. Very nice. But uske aage jo conversation hogi na, that's from the person. And if you like the person, if somebody likes you, don't deal. People first buy people, and then what they sell. People first buy people, and then what they sell. But what we're doing is, we're not selling ourselves. We're selling the product <coughs> or service that we want to offer. Okay. Now, let me... Let me give you what networking really is. It's actually been staring <coughs> in your face for a very long time. Since the day you started networking, and for a very long time, I wasn't able to see it. And perhaps today, you're not able to see it either. Remember what I said about my handwriting? Yeah. yeah? True, right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's it. Thank you, you've been kind. <laughs> Sorry? It starts off well. Kind of starts off well, huh? I know. Yeah. Yes, pretty much. I always overestimate the size of the text when I'm doing this. I, need to, I think I just realized. Okay. So, networking. You are networking only and only when. Your neck is working for you. You're only and only networking when 
your network is bringing you referrals, it is bringing you opportunities, not just in the business area, in your personal life, any other way. Only then you've been networking. That's the meaning of networking. And it's been in front of you for always, forever. And we've just not seen it. Does this make any sense? Yeah? Only when your net is working for you. Now the question is, why would your net work for you? Why? And if you can answer that question, you'll be sitting at home or in your office and the business will be pouring in. Won't be a problem at all. At all. Okay. I will also need to keep a check on time, 40 minutes to break. Go ahead. Okay. Now, for the next thing, I'd like to call a volunteer on the stage, please. Anyone? Come, please. Yes, absolutely. Can we have the mic, please? Um, mic test. Hello? Is it working? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi. Come on. Hmm. What's your name? Raghav. Raghav. What do you do, Raghav? Uh, I'm a student. Student. What are you studying? BBA. BBA. What do you intend to do uh, after BBA? Uh, business. Business? Okay. Brilliant. At the right place. Yeah? Cool. What I want you to do, Raghav, is I want you to read this paragraph starting from here, okay, till here. Yeah. Okay? People. Uh, yes, people. Okay? Right. Take your time. Read it easily. Yeah? Go for it, please. Pay attention, guys. Something very important there. Uh, dealing with people is probably the biggest problem you face, especially if you are in business. Yes, and that is also true if you are a housewife, architect, and or engineer. Research done a few years ago under the auspices of Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching uncovered a most important significant, significant fact, a fact later confirmed by additional studies made at the Carnegie Institute of Technology. These investigations revealed that even in such technical lines as engineering, about 15% of one's financial success is due to one's technical knowledge and about 85% is due to skill in human. Uh, skill in human engineering, to personality and ability to lead people. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just stay here for a moment, okay? Don't go yet. I'm going to repeat it once. Okay. Dealing with people is probably the biggest problem you face. Right or wrong? Right? Okay. Especially if you're in business. Right or wrong? Right? Okay. Yes. <coughs> and it's also true if you're a housewife, architect, or engineer. So you could be a business owner, you could be a student, you could be a housewife, or you could be a professional. Dealing with people is the biggest challenge. Now, next part is very interesting. Research done a few years ago under the auspices of Carnegie Foundation for the advance advancement of teaching uncovered a most important and significant fact. Okay? These investigations revealed that even in such technical lines as engineering, only 15%, 1-5% of your financial success is due to your competence. Let me explain what this means. This means, no matter how good you are at what you do, your financial success is only 15% impacted by how good you are. That changes things, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the next part. And about 85% of financial success is due to skill in human engineering. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, doesn't matter if you're a housewife, a student, a business owner, a professional. 85% of your financial success is being driven by your ability to build relationships. This is research and proven. This comes from a book called 
how to win friends and influence people. I cannot stress how important this book is. Read it five times. Very, very important. Raghav, I want to give you this for taking the initiative. All right? All the best. Take care. Thank you. Yes, sir. Who wanted to say something? Very quickly. I have a lot to give. Raghav, could you please pass this to me? When the India was partitioned, we had a doctor from Pakistan. And where I used to live, there were doctors from London. He outsmarted all of them. I lived in a nearby area in Noida. The whole Gurjar family would go to their doctor, Amar Singh. They say, "Aap take the Yoki styles and mixture with our He has a style to mix the mixture. And that style of mixing mixture of the medicine it deflated all the doctors who were afarsiers from London. Mm -hmm. So it is what perception. I lived in London. We, there is a doctor from Indian origin and British. Mm -hmm. Even Britisher would not go to him. Mm -hmm. Then I searched. He is sitting empty. When a child is born in Britain, he is shown India's rope tricks, forest. He has a feeling that Indian doctor is a jadu garbi. And this perception, I put. Tell them this is the only reason they will never go to a British doctor. They will come to Indian doctor. You are thinking a doctor, a musician, be it because the way they have been brought up. That's yes. Two things I want to share. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, what's what's really networking about? Building a great network. Peter, stop trying to sell. Stop trying to collect cards. Stop trying to do anything that you're doing. Just build a great network around yourself. That's it. So what does this mean? This means that when you go to the event, stop looking at people, stop judging people by their clothes. Stop judging people by their business cards. Networking is not about that. A lot of us think that networking is a one-to-one -one function. I go to an event, I meet someone, I'm networking. Now, each one of you that's here today, if you end up getting value, if you end up getting value today, and I ask you for reference of five business owners, will you give me? Yes. Yes. See, each one of you is a gateway to a whole new network. A whole new network. But what we do, we see the person, and we, either we write the person in or we write the person off. Like this. He's sitting on your butt. You're going to get And we move on. Move on. If you don't like someone, by all means, move on. But what you need to start doing is you need to start thinking about one question, and only one question, when you meet someone. Do I want this person in my network? And there's so many good people here today. You cannot go back from here by at least adding two, three good people without at least adding two, three good people into your network. Just imagine for a moment, keep, keep this in mind, and just assume for a moment that it is possible to get your network to work for you. And now imagine that you build a great network around yourself. What can happen? What can happen? Absolutely. There's nothing stopping you. Absolutely nothing stopping you. Just ask one, one question. Do I want this person in my network? And if the answer to that is yes, take that relationship with you and you go from there. Set an expectation that time, hey, why don't we meet up? Let's catch up over a cup of coffee. Now, here we have a fierce initiative. What do you think it will be? It doesn't feel like I'm going to All of that can be handled, and I'll teach you how to handle that today. Just imagine, the way you think about your car, your house, your jewelry, the money, and when, when you think how much you've collected, it gives you a certain high, right? I don't get it because I've not collected that money yet. 
but all of you have come in a free session, so I am assuming that you have. <laughs> but whatever your achievements are, when you think of those, you get a certain high. You need to get that high when you look at your network. Your network is a living, breathing, growing entity. And you need to keep adding people into your network. Find reasons to stay in touch with them. Find reasons to build a relationship with them. And I'll tell you how to do that as well. But from today, instead of trying to sell, start building a great network around yourself. And amazing things will happen. Amazing things. I don't know 80% of people in the room. They've been referred by someone, by someone, by someone. You've come here today. That's my network working for me. We've got, gathered close to 200 people. On a long weekend. Simply by recommendations of the people that are around in my network. It started with that. I have sent only five to six emails and a couple of messages to the WhatsApp group to bring this group together. Nothing else. Network. Thank you, one person. Who said that was? Just a surprise for that one person, right? Okay, so I talk about this very interesting concept, and you need to remember this. I call it Denban. It's a principle of networking. Denban stands for don't ever network, build a network. Don't ever network. Networking is a Even if you have a card, you have a card, you have a card, you have a card, you Just focus on building a great network around yourself. You see someone good for any reason. Somebody speaks in a way that you like, somebody dresses in a way you like, somebody is more successful in a way that you like, somebody has an aura that you like, anything that you like about someone, bring that person into your network. That's it. Just start doing that. Now let me give you a warning. Something that after I tell you, a lot of you would stop wanting to network the way I'm telling you to. Okay. After you start following the philosophy that I'm giving you today, it will take you a year and a half to build a great network around yourself. A year and a half. Now many of you will not have that patience. Make that decision today. Okay? If you keep that patience, after a year and a half, I promise you, you follow what I'm teaching you today, your network will work for you. And what I'm telling you is not theory. It's tried, trusted, proven. I sent a video um, you, to you guys the uh, night before yesterday, I think. And what I said in the video is absolutely true. I've taken the challenges, I've created solutions, I've put those solutions into problems, into programs. Programs that have been running for years now. And I have people within this room that will tell you about this stuff, folks. Now, like, towards the end, I'd like to invite some of them. OK? Game? Right? few more here, we'll catch them, okay? Right, now, when we're talking about building a network, let me tell you one very important thing. Your network needs to be a three-dimensional network, okay? Now, the first dimension of your network is, any guesses? Length. Length, yes, length. Now, length refers to the number of people. Your network needs to have balance of these three dimensions. Number one is the length. The number of people. Okay? Then comes the breadth. The? Oh, sorry. No, please. It's okay. Yes. I, I kind of get lost when I'm doing this. Okay. Somebody said, yes, diversity. The diversity. 
You need to have musicians in your network. You need to have professors in your network. If you're a business owner in the private sector, you need to have people from the government sector in your network. You need to have teachers in your network. What we try to do, if I train a coach in networking, I train business owners, my focus will be on business owners. All the focus. And that's not a strong network. Okay? Then, depth. Depth is the quality of relationships that you have. So a lot of us have a very big network. How many of us have a very big network on LinkedIn and Facebook? Depth me kaha jata ho? Yeah, na? Yes. Networking ke liye aap networking events ki date nahi kar sakte. You have to go out and meet people even if there is no agenda. There is no agenda. Okay, and we're talking more about that. So these three dimensions need to coexist in the network that you're building. Okay, now when you build a good network, it'll work for you. But here's a question: Why would you work for me? Well, let me ask you a different question: When would you work for me? When would you, when I do my next session, what do I need to achieve today? that you would go out of your way to recommend people into this workshop next time. What do I need to achieve today with you? Add value? Yes. Trust. It is only when you trust me, you will recommend me ahead. Now for you to trust me, I have to add value to you here today, right? So let me ask you this, hold on, hold on. Wait, you have to कुछ मेरे साथ गोचे कर रहे हो मैं आपकी लाइफ में वैल्यू ऐड करूंगा आप मेरे को ट्रस्ट करोगे और आप मेरे को ट्रस्ट करोगे तो आप मेरे को और धंधा लाके दोगे मेरे धंधा और लाने में मदद करोगे करेक्ट ये कह रहे हो आप बहुत कॉमन सेंस वाली चीज है ना ये मालूम है ना आपको तो खुद क्यों नहीं करते क्यों सेल कर रहे हो व्हाई यू नॉट गोइंग अराउंड एडिंग वैल्यू इनटू द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल व्हाई this is what is net this is what networking is about when you meeting someone when you meeting an absolute stranger you have to ask yourself this one question how can i add value into this person's life beat it finish don't bring your business card out don't start a conversation with your professional identity don't do any of that. When you meet someone, go say, I am Paratosh. Don't say Paratosh, that's my name, use your name, okay? But say, hi, I'm Paratosh, what's your name? And from that moment on, make that person the center of your world. The next five minutes, kuch nahi hoga. Okay, let's assume. Ek bade interesting question kuch naan Let's assume, hum aayye yaha pe kisi aur ka talk hai. I come, I come, I approach you, I approach you, and I say, hi, I'm Paratosh, what's your name, and I start talking to you. I'm talking to you about you. I'm genuinely interested. You can sense. How long will it be before you start to wonder what do I do? A minute? Two minutes? So somewhere in the vicinity of 30 seconds to less than three, four minutes, right? You'll wonder what do I do? Now when you wonder what do I do, what would you do? You ask, what do you do? You know, research done has already suggested that when people ask for information, they retain it 80% more. Okay, let me explain it to you this way. Networking events aate ho, cards leke aate ho, shaam ko ya agla din cards dekte ho, kabhi ye socha hai zindagi mein ye kis ka card tha? Right? How does that happen? Yes. You're not retaining that person's information. So it's actually a smarter way of networking. It is more strategic way of networking. If I keep my card in pocket, 
I know for sure that you will, and, and I'm genuinely interested in you, I know for sure you will ask about me. When you ask about me, I will not be one of those people that you will be wondering tomorrow morning, ye kis ka kaat hai, se kam hai. Aapko agar aisa lag raha hai, oron ke baare mein ki ye kis ka kaat tha, to oron ko aapke baare mein nahi lag raha hai. Lag raha hai na? The same thing is happening to you. And the only way to change that, the only way to succeed in networking, the only way to get your network to work for you, is to create value for them. Which is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm not selling to you. I will for the last five minutes. That's a separate story. But first I'll add value in your life. Again, I add value in your life. You trust me. When you trust me, number one, either you buy from me. And even if you don't buy from me, there's a very high probability that you'll give me referrals for the next workshop, correct? Correct? Simple science. Or I'm jarring even sme to get something from people. Always to get. मैंने इनसे बात करी मैं इनसे पूछता हूं अगर मैं नॉर्मल नेटवर्किंग में जाऊं तो मैं इनसे पूछूंगा कि आप क्या करते हो उसके पीछे पता है मेरी इंटेंशन क्या होगी यस आई एम ट्राइंग टू क्वालिफाई हिम आफ्टर आई गेट टू नो व्हाट ही डज आई गेट टू नो ही इज अ प्रोस्पेक्ट इफ आई गेट टू नो ही इज अ प्रोस्पेक्ट द सेलिंग मोड इज ऑन अरे आप बिजनेस ओनर हो मेरा तो इतना अच्छा प्रोग्राम है आके देखो कभी आप दैट्स व्हाट वी ट्राइंग टू डू हैवी फील होती है नेटवर्किंग प्रेशर आता है आता है ना द रीजन यू फीलिंग प्रेशर इन नेटवर्किंग इज बिकॉज यू गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम द नेचुरल वे ऑफ नेटवर्किंग द नेचुरल वे ऑफ नेटवर्किंग इज एब्सोल्युटली रिलैक्स्ड गो टू द इवेंट विद फाइव बिजनेस कार्ड्स जान बुझ कर लेके मचाओ देना ही नहीं है Mirror that's almost a ego issue it's my real estate although that's a different story one of one card of mine cost 25 bucks to method can just be okay but it's almost a ego issue mai tab tak nahi dunga jab tak koi mangega nahi it's not a one up it's not that I'm better than you i don't want to give you my card if if you're not interested and the game is can i get you interested in me can i get you to ask for my card can i create value for you can i earn your trust it is when i get your trust the game changes okay so let's talk about trust <clears throat> trust has a formula when i when i started off with networking training and coaching this was a couple of years back i knew jab tak main logo ko trust ka ek formula nahi de dunga tab tak baat nahi banegi so main aapko keh raha hu gains people trust gains people trust but how साइंस क्या उसके पीछे दिस एक्चुअली ए साइंस दिस इज बुक कॉल्ड हाउ टू विन हाउ टू विन फ्रेंड्स नहीं स्पीड ऑफ ट्रस्ट यस ये मेरे ग्रेजुएट्स हैं जिन्हें मेरी मेरी पिक्चर मेरे से ज्यादा याद है ठीक है स्पीड ऑफ ट्रस्ट बाय स्टीफन एम आर कवी सो आई केम अक्रॉस दिस बुक आई वाज डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च हाईली हाईली रिकमेंडेड बुक प्लीज गो फॉर इट ओके नाउ इन दिस बुक कवी सेज दैट ट्रस्ट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ योर बस रुक जाओ पहले दो तो मैंने पूछा कवि ने क्या बोला मैंने बोला मैंने क्या ऐड करा ओके बट वेरी नाइस हा वेरी नाइस ठीक है सो कवि सेज दैट ट्रस्ट इज योर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ योर कैरेक्टर प्लस योर कॉम्पिटेंस राइट Does that make sense to you? कि अगर आपको किसी का कैरेक्टर अच्छा लगे और उसकी कॉम्पिटेंस अच्छी लगेगी तो आप उसको ट्रस्ट करोगे ज्यादा वट यू थिंक वेन यू आर नेटवर्किंग विद पीपल वट आर पीपल लीडिंग विद कैरेक्टर कौन बोला कैरेक्टर पढ़ जाओ कोई भी कैरेक्टर से लीड करता ये कैरेक्टर नहीं होता है आई एम पारितोष पार्ग में स्ट्रेटेजिक नेटवर्किंग कोच कैरेक्टर होता है कार्ड जेब में रखना और वैल्यू क्रिएट करना That's character. Character होता है not feeling insecure about. अबाउट इस बंदे ने अगर मेरा कार्ड नहीं लिया तो क्या हो जाएगा कैरेक्टर इज 
नॉट फीलिंग इनसिक्योर किया अगर मैं इस इवेंट पे आया मैं कार्ड भी नहीं लेके जाऊंगा तो मैं क्या करूंगा मैं कंपनी इन्फो ई नहीं भेजूंगा तो क्या करूंगा एंड जस्ट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स मेकिंग दी अदर पर्सन देंटर ऑफ यूर वर्ल्ड और अपने दिमाग से वो जजमेंट्स हटाना कि यार मैं इसके लिए क्यों वैल्यू क्रिएट करूं ये तो मेरा प्रोस्पेक्ट ही नहीं है ये तो उस लाइन में ही नहीं है जहां पर मेरे को जरूरत नहीं है You don't know who they know. You don't know who they know. मुझे नहीं मालूम कि मेरा जिंदगी का सबसे बड़ा क्लाइंट क्या आपके नेटवर्क में है या नहीं है But if I keep selling to you and I don't add value to you, I will never get to know. consistently once is not enough the number of people that we meeting the number of people that you are meeting aap log aaj aaye ho ab agar main iske baad bilkul aapke sath communication break kar lunga aaj ke baad how long would you guys remember me a week two week couple of weeks and then the value will start to fade away so what i need to make sure is that i keep adding i keep bringing my character how do i do that by adding more value so the game is that today you have come and you don't buy from me i still have to add more value in your life knowing that you may never buy from me i have to add more value in your life I have to keep adding value in your life consistently. That's the three C's of trust. Lead with your character, not with your competence, not with your professional identity, not with your business card, not with the company you represent. Be the person first. People first buy people, and then what they sell. Remember that. Okay. And the greatest way you will turn people into your ambassadors, into your ally. When you add value into their life, and you don't expect anything back, making sense? Yeah. Yeah. And this is completely opposite of what most of us do, right? We're out there at events, trying to see what can I gain from people. And some of us are even trying to mask it. <laughs> see, I want the other person to be able to see that I'm a really nice guy, but inside I want something. People can tell. Then yes, sir. I am. Abhi tak jitni talk kariye. Isme main dhire dhire apne program special lagta hu. Would you not be able to tell? Yeah, you all right. So I'm adding value, but I'm disguising that. You'll be able to tell like this. You do that. People will be able to tell like this. Don't try and disguise. People are far smarter than what we trust uh, than than what we give them credit for. Okay, now, what does trust build? <clears throat> trust builds something that we call social capital. This term, social capital, is the currency of networking. Okay, so now let's say. इसको मैं ऐसे एक्सप्लेन करता हूं आज मैंने आपके लिए वैल्यू ऐड करी आपको ये वर्कशॉप अच्छे लगी आपने मेरे को पांच रेफल्स दे दिए मैं कल आपको कॉल करता हूं यार पांच और दे दो आई रियली अप्रिशिएट दे दोगे 
मैं आपको एक हफ्ते बाद फिर कॉल करता हूं पांच और दे दो क्या सोचो क्या चेप हो गया ना गलती कर दी इसका सेशन रिटेंड करके सही कह रहा था बिल्कुल फ्री नहीं था इसका सेशन Now what's happening? There's there's a very interesting phenomenon happening behind. But when I gain your trust, my social capital in your mind increases. But when I ask for something back, it depletes. So if I want to keep getting referrals from you throughout your life, what do I have to do? Yes, keep building social capital. How do I build social capital? By giving value. By earning your trust. How do I earn your trust? By creating value. So if I'm thinking, being here on the stage, कि यार आगे मैंने सेशन दे दिया अब तो ये मेरे हो गए. No, it doesn't work like that. That's why the consistency is important. Yeah, make sense? Okay, cool. Just ten more minutes to your break. Okay, now. Social capital is a tradable commodity of networking. Remember that. Okay. So, whenever I have to ask someone for help, I always ask myself, Do I have enough social capital with them? Which means, Have I done enough? For them? And that is why I keep going around trying to create value for as many people as I can. That someday, if I ever Want to ask something of them? I should have the right to ask something of them. That is why I can't choose कि मैं किसके लिए value add करूँगा, किसके लिए नहीं करूँगा, because I don't know कल मेरे को क्या help चाहिएगी. बहुत narrow vision होता है हम लोगों का, जहाँ पे हम सोचते हैं धंधा, 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 धंधा. So much more in life. Do you have people around you that are always helping other people, willing to help, creating value? You trust those people? Would you do something little extra for those guys? You would, right? It's right in front of our eyes. We're experiencing it, experiencing it every single day. But we're so busy trying to collect cards that we're actually not paying attention to the real science. Add value. That's it. कुछ नहीं करना है. Networking in दो words में combine हो जाता है. Add value. मैंने आपको I told you here in the half. Okay. So what's gonna happen is अब आप लोग ये concept लोगे और अब आप जाओगे कि try करने की कोशिश करोगे. Okay. This is what's going to happen. There's something that we call effort to time graph. When you start from today, networking with this philosophy, your effort will increase. How will it increase? आप किसी से मिलोगे आप सोचोगे यार इसके लिए क्या करूँ मैं? How do I even get to know? What can I do for this person? So in the beginning, it'll become harder. And the more you try, the harder it'll become. जिस पहले आप एक business owner से मिलोगे उसकी life अलग है. फिर आप एक हाउसवाइफ से मिलोगे उसकी लाइफ अलग है फिर आप एक प्रोफेशनल से मिलोगे उसकी लाइफ अलग है फिर एक स्टूडेंट से मिलोगे उसकी लाइफ अलग है फॉलोइंग थिंग्स इन माइंड ओके सो वी टॉक अबाउट समथिंग कॉल्ड कॉन्शियस नेटवर्किंग वेन यू प्रैक्टिस कॉन्शियस नेटवर्किंग Amazing things happen, and this is the formula of conscious networking. What is VC? Value creation. GI is genuine interest. You have to be genuinely interested in the person in front of you. You can't fake it. And this is where. Creating genuine interest is where your effort will start to grow. Go up. इस चीज की हमें आदत नहीं है. We've always been interested in ourselves. What can I get? What can I get from you? 
putting you in the center of the equation is going to be hard work for me in the beginning. But over time, your effort to time graph will start to go down. GI plus VC, just remember that. When the person comes in front of you, keep your business cards in your pocket, give your hand out, shake hands, ask for the name of the person, and just get interested in that person. What did you do? How did you get into this? Where are you coming from? How did you hear about this? What kind of connection you're looking for? I know this person. Can I connect you? Are you aware of this? I can recommend this book. Can I share an article with you? How can I help? Just go all in. Kuch nahi yoga. Kuch nahi yoga. Go all in. Add as much value in the life of people that you can. Has someone here been referred by Gaurav Arora, the coach? He's my coach, but he didn't refer to me. He didn't refer you. So Gaurav Arora is a coach who tried referring five to six people, and he called me. He followed up with me. Did you speak with these people? What happened? This happened, that happened. I'll speak with them again. And he spoke with people two, three times. Now that's genuine interest in helping me make this workshop successful. <laughs> and from my network, that's one person I'm talking about today. All right? Okay. So at this point in time, we'll take a quick break. Uh, this is a 20-minute break. It's 11 right now. We'll be back at 11.20. When you come back, we're getting into the strategies of business networking. There's a little more content that I'll cover. Then we get down into the science and strategy of business networking. We have tea coffee outside. I hope we hit we do. Good job. Oh, okay. Um, I'll come along. Well, I'm sure we have tea coffee outside.